Catalina Rin would like to know, My friends are hanging out without me. How do I get included? This was my struggle in high school, was like always being that one friend. Don't be that person who wants to get included into everything. It kind of gives people the, like, the bad vibe and kind of makes you want like look needy. Find a new friend and then you can hang out with her. Get some new friends, hang out with yourself. Nothing wrong with hanging out with yourself. Shay, come on, guys, I'm your friend. What are you guys doing? I want to play. If they still don't let you play, then they're not really good friends. The only way to get included is, is if you plan it. They can't kick you out of your own plan. Throw a surprise party and invite them and don't tell them who they who invited them. There might be a reason they're hanging out without you. So you might want to maybe brush your teeth, change your shirt. Don't worry too much about it. Don't, you know, don't let it upset you, but rather try and find out what the reason is. Just ask to be included. Next time you guys go to the movies, uh, you know, I would love to go. Always ask, say, you mind if I hang out with you? Maybe they don't realize that they have left you out. They probably don't even realize that they're excluding you, so I would talk to them directly and tell them how you're feeling. If they're hanging out, you can say like, oh, you want to play this one game? It's really fun, and then like you could probably get them to play, and then they'll hang out with you. If that doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Sergio Manzaneris asks, How do I win an Oscar? Hmm. I'm 69 years old and I still don't have an Oscar, so I don't have the answer to that. You have to be a very, 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 very good actor. Be a good actor, cry a lot, and just don't suck. Star on a really, really good film with really good supporting actors and actresses. Make a great movie. Sad movies always win an Oscar. Be an actor. Do something like really touching. Usually playing someone with a disability always works. You can win an Oscar. I believe in you. You have to work your butt off. You have to get an agent, um, go through acting classes. It would take like an easy um, 20 years. Don't be Leonardo DiCaprio because he can't get an Oscar. <laughs> Egan Snowpig, I like your name. How do I survive an alien invasion? You really believe in aliens? Really? Uh, give all the aliens big, big, big wedgies so it goes all the way over to their space helmet. Go to fallout shelter and hide in the ground. This is kind of like a zombie apocalypse, but they're more intelligent. You need to get a, a really good shelter, maybe make it out of titanium. You gotta be set for any occasion. Try to stay away from populated areas. Hide. There you go, hide. Hide, or you would confront them. Make friends with them if they find you. You know, just kill them with kindness. Watch those doomsday prepper people. They're crazy. Make yourself, like, disgusting, so the aliens will be like, they see that, they're like, nope, got to go, got to blast, and go to a different planet. A computer virus, a glass of water, um, the common cold, I believe those are all uh, good options for you. You want to change your mind, because that's how you're gonna out-trick them. Because I'm pretty sure most aliens are gonna be smarter than the human race. So if you're above them on an intellectual level, you're already winning. Forget about that and think about surviving things more, you know, more important. Uh, like how you're gonna get through life or how you're gonna get through school or uh, how you're gonna get a good job. Bob Bob asks, What is the best age to be and why? I can't answer that because I've only hit 18. Probably being a baby because everyone takes care of you. Three or two, a lot of people are like, oh, you're so cute. And then you get complimented, complimented a lot. Third. Teen, because you're a teenager. I would either choose 19 or 21. 19, because you're still like on the brink of a teenager, but you're also like kind of an adult. And then 21, because you can drink. 22 and you're good. Because I, I heard this song once, I'm feeling 22, how about something like that? Is that, not a, is that not a song or something? 26. You have the maturity of an older person, but you're still young and youthful and can still make stupid mistakes. 28. That is like when you're like fit and healthy and you're not too old so your bones don't crack. Around when you hit your 30s or so, cause that's kind of, you're out of that 20, that, you know, those awkward 20 somethings. Seeing as how I haven't died yet, I think uh, 69 is the best stage to be. 212211 asks, how do I get out of an awkward text? Is that something you're reading? I don't quite get the question. Cause if, if it's something you're reading, I mean, uh, just, uh, Put the book down and read something else. Don't respond. Don't reply. Send a thumbs up and just don't respond after that. The good thing about texting is you're not face to face, so write like ha ha or an emoji or something to just kind of shut it down. You make it even more awkward, so it seems like you guys are having like a funny joke. Turn off your cell phone 
or whatever you're texting on, say, oh, my phone's dying. Make up an excuse that you're busy right now. Say, oh, dude, I'm sorry, I have to go, even though you're completely lying and you're just laying down on the couch watching TV. Answer it in a very easy way that you wouldn't have to really repeat what was in it. If it's really awkward, bro, just say, just, just delete it and when they text you back, be like, yo, new phone, who did this? That's it. Thanks for watching Advice on the React channel. Don't miss out. Subscribe. We love answering your questions, so keep them coming. Bye. See ya. I'm going to go prepare for an alien invasion.